guys, I'm not making this up. She said we, are, we should do a YouTube. Now we are ready. Look at her. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, she's like five years old. Though. Sometimes this is, what she, this is what I go through. You people don't see this part. Look at her. Why are you, why are you stressing rain? <laughs> rain is having the best time of his life. Don't even eh? play yourself. Why rain is she stressing? Is... Rain, why are you being stressed? Rain is having the best time of his life. Guys, why is she stressing rain? <laughs> rain, say something. Oh no, that's a horse. <laughs> Did you just do a horse sound for an elephant? <laughs> of course, he's not going to say something. A pretty girl is sitting on his. He won't say anything now. Rain, a pretty girl is on your back. A pretty girl is sitting on Rain's back. What, what are we expecting from Rain? Nothing. This man, right? This is Rain. Is it, is it, is it a man or whatever? He's a man. Rain. Forget it. <laughs> a fine girl is sitting on Rain's back. It's over. Rain is not going to say anything. Anyways, this is what I deal with sometimes. Like a five years old. She will be playing with this Rain. So why did you call us on YouTube? You summoned the YouTube meeting. What is I it? I did. So YouTubington, I was scrolling earlier today. Mm -hmm. And I came across um, a DM that was like, Hey, Ling and Lamb, I love you guys. I'm a big famington. Mm -hmm. And I have a couple questions. But my biggest one is, how can you make your relationship happy and i just like kind of cried a little bit it made me sad mm. um just the way he worded it how can i make my relationship happy and i was just like mm. how can i make my relationship happy i was, it was it's sad because obviously yeah. if somebody's asking that obviously their relationship is not in a happy place and yeah it's so sad to me because i feel like i know what it's like to mm -hmm. be in an unhappy relationship and then coming to a place where now I'm in such a happy, healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. That's why I felt so bad. Ah, it's like, wait, now that you've told me, so you are happy here, right? I've been noticing it since, since you came in, since I came into your life, <laughs> you started shining different. Yeah, right. You started, you know, every, peace. everything about you changed. <laughs> what, what is peace? Don't do that while I'm on here. Don't yank me. Bev, Bev, what is peace? <laughs> Oh yeah, come down. YouTube, hold on. You, you see, she's happy. I was about to say my price have gone up in this marriage. Now I, I am myself. I need a bright price. But yes, guys, that's the question that came in, mm. and I was like, I think we should help answer how you can get into a happier place in your relationship. And for me, mm -hmm. the first thing I thought of mm -hmm. is you have to be happy individually before what? you can be happy in any any situation what but ben ben must we stand like this and answer this question can't i sit down <laughs> okay because you, i notice she's sitting on rain me i'm not sitting on anything <laughs> let me sit down please you don't kill me with this uh, this one that you've come to ask very interesting question so ben ben let's go into it you gave a good point individual happiness mm -hmm is what leads to together happiness. Mm -hmm. You cannot give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. If you are not happy, you cannot give that happiness. Yeah. So the first thing is, are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with the decision you made to get married or to be in a relationship with that person? Mm -hmm. What are the fun things you do together? Yeah. You know, is important. Yeah. Are there commonalities that you guys can enjoy? Because if you don't have things in common, how can you be happy? You are going to stress yourself. Yeah. Make sure you agree on certain things that are really big. Yeah. You know, communication is key mm -hmm. to a happy relationship. No relationship is perfect to listen carefully. Yeah. When we got married, we used to go back and forth more than the way it is now. Yeah, the first year was like... Our first, because me, I was a coconut head. I was very stubborn. And I, it still wasn't a not happy place. Because, no, we were happy, but we fought Yeah, more. but it was just like getting to learn each other, especially getting to learn somebody from a totally different culture, another side of the planet. It's like, it's a lot. Yeah, and even me, when I'm talking to you, you think I'm angry because my voice is yeah, louder. Still. Yeah, yes, an she, attitude. He's got such an attitude. No, it's an attitude. It's not, not cultural. It's an attitude. <laughs> so annoying. So you guys see, this is these are the issues. <laughs> <laughs> but 
because we post video all the time, you guys see us happy all the time. The truth of the matter is, we are always happy, but we also have our moment of disagreement. Oh my God, can I also say this? Yeah. It's a choice. I think it's a conscious choice to wake up every day and decide to be happy. Yes. Because there's a lot of things that once you get out of your bed and out into the world or get your day started that you're like, okay, my happiness is coming down. But if in the morning, right when you wake up, you're like, today I'm going to be happy and achieve things that make me happier. I feel like you set your intention for the day and it's easier to be happy. True. And sometimes the names you call these things matter. Yeah. You know, if you, if you say, oh, I'm in a stupid relationship, then the relationship is going to be stupid. Mm -hmm. But if you begin to look at it from a positive perspective, on both sides, though, not one side, like I'm going to use myself as an example. There were certain things that we used to argue over because me, it takes me a little longer to understand certain things. On my private time, I'll be questioning myself. I say, how can I do better? How can I communicate better? How can, you know, that is me investing because the relationship means a lot to me and I want us to be in a better space. So, Self check ins. That's the yeah, basically like know, a self check in. Am self I doing the right thing to make sure that I'm bringing happiness to the relationship? To the relationship. And if not, going back to the drawing board and figuring out how to tweak yourself mm -hmm. to bring the highest level of happiness. Of happiness. And don't, that's why I'm putting it there. No relationship in the world is happy 247. Unexpected things will make you argue. Mm -hmm. But in that argument, I will share something with you people. The days where we have misunderstanding, when she goes to bed, I will still go and check up on her. I will make sure she's sleeping properly. Look at her face. If I'm the one cooking that day, I will cook for her. I would not say because we're having a fight, uh, I'm not good. Because we have a disagreement on the topic. It's not the entire value of our relationship. So certain things, and those are ways we check each other mm -hmm. to make sure that we stay grounded and be happy. So it is possible for you to be in a healthy, happy relationship. If, and, oh, sorry, Bambi. Mm -hmm, and if for nothing, I was going to say, she started this video and told you people how she is now in a healthy bouncing relationship I didn't say anything about bouncing I didn't, oh my god here he goes but really guys also too yeah i think once you take these steps and implement them and if you notice like after weeks or months there's still no change you're not happy maybe reevaluate the relationship and you shouldn't you know maybe it's not a relationship to be in but i think once you do these types of steps you'll start to be like, oh, wow, I'm seeing a difference. Yeah, like yeah. being intentional, saying you want to be happy when you wake up, working on yourself, working on you as a couple. Hey, what can we do to be happier together? It sounds like a strange question, but yeah. when you actually get it out of your mouth and talk about it, you might both be like, oh my God, you're right. We don't do anything to like make us happy. Happy. And, and, and make sure you did not go into the relationship depending you know your happiness totally depending yeah. on that person mm -hmm. no don't do that but that's what happens as a result when you're not happy yes. and fulfilled yourself so you feel totally incomplete you feel like this person so this person must be the reason why i am now happy they will complement your joy and take you to the next level but because you are already happy like bem bem said in the beginning you will see that it is easier to now flourish that happiness. Yes, guys. Another thing I just want to make, I want to say to you guys, we say it all the time, right? I know you people even watch our video, but the truth is, 80% of the times, we don't even remember to carry the camera to record some of our happy moments. Mm -hmm. We laugh, play, and we don't remember to record it. And that's why we're able to still keep posting videos and, you know, putting content out there. Because 80% of the time, eh, you see all this laugh, you, you people think you've seen this girl laugh. <laughs> I'm going to start recording some of those laughter that you people have never... If you see the way she... She laughs and cries. 
this one that you are seeing, she will laugh and be crying. Sometimes the laugh begins at six in the morning when we start texting each other. Be quiet, well. Let me tell them now. All right, bye guys. Hope this happiness <laughs> hack has helped. You are owing me money, Obembe. I also really like doing things like yoga or going to the beach to make me happy. Yep. I go to the beach almost every morning. I'm going to say this now. Whatever healthy thing your partner does individually that brings them peace and happiness, don't stop it because they are married. I don't get in her business when she does her personal stuff, her yoga, she likes to pray at the beach sometimes. She likes to, you know, do a uh, run an errand. All those. She has a private time. I don't get involved because the fact that she married doesn't mean she should lose that. But I'm deliberately saying healthy because some of you, before you got married, you you you. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> some of, I'm not, don't misquote me. I didn't say Bye, bad. Guys. If it's a bad habit, don't continue the bad <laughs> habit in marriage. I'm saying Bye, the, good, the good ones. <laughs> Count your blessings. Life is full of blessings. Thank God for His mercy. We pray. Waking up is a miracle. 